we've been working now for almost a year. And I must say that uh, too bad we're not a quintet because we're like one hand, you know, the six hands, the six fingers of one hand. <laughs> happy to play inside a band. I didn't want to be uh, the leader accompanied by five other musicians. I want, really wanted to be completely part of one band, one unit. I like to write. I like to write music that you could hear and listen. I try to make it as musical as possible, um, and they're, they're almost like pop songs. It's very important for me to be accessible somehow. I, it's just my way of seeing life. Well, every time I play or, or write a piece of music, I see different colors di at different times. But it's not really a, a colors as a painter. It's more um, the color you could feel inside, like a, a very cozy color or a very cold color. It's not something you could really put on the canvas and make a painting out of. It's a, more something that you hear and you feel inside. It's an interesting way of uh, hearing and listening to music. I have two children in France now, and, uh, and I'm just close to them, so I took an apartment in Paris. And we are starting a, a foundation uh, that would give the opportunity for young, talented artists to work and do their, do their art. So any, you know, anyone that wants to help, please do. It's very important to, to teach you know, uh, young people what this music is about. And unfortunately, there's a lot of masters that are gone, like uh, Miles Davis and, and John Coltrane and Charlie Parker. And it's very important that you have to, you know, we have things that you could uh, uh, pass along by touching someone, that really po pointing out with the finger exactly what it is. And uh, you have to come to a special place for that. I moved to the United States in 1981, and uh, let me tell you, then, in those days, to be European and to play United States with Americans was very, very difficult. It was, uh, uh, you had to, to be uh, uh, taken by someone, and uh, someone has to say, this guy, we accept him. Nobody could go there and just play with anybody. It was not possible. Nowadays, it's much easier. <laughs>
I met Steve about uh, 12, 13 years ago, and uh, we have uh, really liked each other uh, at first sight. And, and uh, we said well, one day we'll have to do something. And uh, uh, I called him up to do this record because I thought that uh, he and Anthony Jackson were the, probably the, the, the ideal uh, rhythm section for this type of project. Uh, what I didn't know was that uh, not only was the ideal rhythm section for this project, but it's the ideal rhythm section, period. Life is uh, done in a way that one day you're strong, the next day you're less strong, you know? And uh, we have a great communication. And it's like uh, being with a net, you know? And uh, I'm a trapeze, and I can do whatever I want. I know, I know they're there to catch me. If anything happens, if anything goes wrong, I would go and jump, you know, with my eyes closed. They'll be there to catch me. And as a, you have no idea when you play uh, this music what it feels to, to be completely secure like that. <laughs> 